Herndon Social Dancers, West Coast Swing. Look like I got the talented Miss Laura. Her and I are going to show you uh, the West Coast Swing lesson that was taught this evening. So thanks again if you came. And if you can't make it because you don't live near where we do this, uh, thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe every week for a new move. Hopefully you like every one of them we show you. This is something I have not taught in over three years. And there's just certain elements to it that make me not want to do it. But I think it's very cool, but it's something you do need to follow that knows what is doing this. If you do this as just a social, she's probably not going to get it. But it's very cool, so that's why we record it so you can watch and practice it. Now this your push. You're going to just need her right hand, gentlemen, your left hand to start. One, two, three, and four. We're just going to do that. We're going to go one, two, three, and four. Now there's a few things that added up into that movement. Okay, guys, as you're pulling her towards you, and you're pushing her off to the left of the slot. So we're going to go front to back so you see how I push. So I'm going to sure push here, taking her uh, right hand, one, two, and I three, and I push her away. I turn my wrist clockwise, give her a push going off the track to her right. So I want to sure push. We're going to go to four, five, and six, one, two, three, and four. Now, Pushing kind of in the lower part of her back. Don't go any lower than that. All right, let's just go front to back to show you again how I do that. I pull her in, and then I turn my wrist and push her onto her right foot on four, which is my left foot. Okay, that's very far. So after four, the rotation is going to turn back to the right for five and six. So we're going to do a short push. We're going to show it from different views so you can see it. So one, two, three, and four, five, and six. You're pulling her forward onto her left leg, which is leading my right. So we're going to go this way and show you how you pull her. So you push her off the track. One, two, three, and four, five. Pull her towards you. My right foot, her left foot. So the track is still here. So she was off the track. Now you're putting her back on it. So going this way, just doing it and getting into it. So one, two, three, and four, five. Pull her towards you. You gotta pull her towards you on six because of the next part. Okay? The next part is a seven and eight. Okay? Sure push. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. So what you're doing is you're pulling her towards you, starting her to rotate to her right, putting on her right foot with its weight on the eighth count. A little bit quicker. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Now, guys, you're doing just the opposite for work, obviously. So I'm on my left foot on eight. She's on her right foot. Okay. Let's go this way, front to back. Okay. We're almost done. It's pretty cool, but it does require a lot of connection. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Eight. Now I'm using my left hand for and putting it on her hip, and I'm pushing her over to her right foot on eight, just so she feels the connection. So the next part, we're gonna have a triple step. So after eight, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. We're going to hold for the music for nine and ten. So you're just gonna sit there, keep her there, wait on my left, wait on her right. The next part is called push away. That's what this name of this move is. So I'm on my left foot on eight, and then I go nine and 10, and I'm going to push off my right foot and go 11 and 12. You're gonna push her to her left, onto her left foot for that last triple. Okay, so it's really pretty when you see it all flow together. So sure to push here, take her right hand, bring her in, two, three, and four, five and six, Seven and eight, pull nine and ten, eleven and twelve. Now I'm on my right foot, she's on her left foot, and you're done. It's really pretty, it works really well with the music, but I don't think it's lead as well, leadable as much as you would if you're social dancing. Go in this direction. So one, two, three, and four, five and six, seven and eight, pull nine and ten, eleven and twelve. One more time in this direction, and we're done. It's pretty cool. Right back up the long way. One, two, three, and four, 
5 and 6, 7 and 8, hold 9 and 10, 11 and 12. Okay? Let's go a little bit faster one more time this way. I didn't mean to do that, but I, let's have to check one. Just a little quicker. Bump, bump, bump. 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8, hold 9 and 10, 11 and 12. It's a fun, cool move. She likes it. I got to do it. Thank you, Thanks for bringing it back. Hey, I know. After three years, it was due. Thanks, guys. Hope you like it. Hope you use it. First time ever in Herndon that I brought it to our group. So we hope you enjoy it as well. Until next time, have a great week. Keep dancing. See you later.